this video is called Making and Using Guides, and it's about exactly what it says it's about, making and using guides, which are basically pieces of uh, quasi-edge construction geometry that help you measure out distances and position things exactly where you want them. Once again, it doesn't involve Bryce, so let's get rid of him. I'm going to start out by drawing uh, a room, and it'll just be a rectangular room in this case. I think I'll take the offset tool and offset a little border around that room. And then I'll take maybe the rectangle tool and draw a little rectangle right there. Okay. Then I'm going to get the eraser tool and erase out that edge and erase that edge. And you notice that I switched to the eraser tool without actually going up and getting it. To switch to it, I just hit the E key on my keyboard, which gave me the eraser. I could hit L to get line or R to get rectangle, but in this case I got E to get the eraser. Okay. Let's go to the push-pull tool which is up here, but let's practice using the keyboard shortcuts. You hit P for push-pull by default, and that gets you the push-pull tool. Let's pull this up. Uh, let's go up 10 feet. There we go. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a doorway that's exactly 4 feet from this edge in this direction, right here. I'd like the doorway to be 3 feet wide, and I'd like it to be 7 feet high. So I'm going to use guides, and I produce guides by using the tape measure tool. Let's grab the tape measure. I'm going to start here on this edge, click, and then just move this out randomly, and then I'm going to type in 4 feet, enter. And I'm just typing it in. It's sort of appearing down here in the value control box, but I didn't have to move my cursor down there to type. Let's do this again. I'm going to pull another guide across, and then say 36 for 3 feet, just like that. And then I'll pull a guide up from the bottom that's hopefully 7 feet. I'm going to type in 7 feet, enter and now that's seven feet and what I've done is I've defined myself a perfect little rectangle that's three feet wide four feet from the court the door and exactly seven feet high I'll use a rectangle draw from intersect to intersect just like that and then use the push-pull tool to kind of push that away now that I've got that little opening there's a few things that I can do with that those guides I can uh, erase them obviously so let's use hit the E key to switch to the eraser and just erase those guides I'm going to undo by saying control Z, control Z, control Z, and show you that if I didn't want to erase those guides, let's say I need them later on, or I might need them later on, I might just go to the view menu and deselect guides, which just hides them. It doesn't actually delete them. If I go up to view and reselect guides, you'll see that those guides are still there. If I had, say, I don't know, 50, 50,000 guides, something like that in my model, and I wanted to ax them all at once, it was kind of a pain to go around with the eraser tool, what I might do is just go up to Edit and say Delete Guides, just like that. And when I delete the guides that way, I don't have to worry about um, going through and doing it individually. All right, let's talk about some of the different ways that you can create guides. Uh, with the tape measure tool, you'll notice that the cursor, the little thing that's moving right now, has a plus sign next to it. And that means it's in a create guides uh, mode. If you look down here in the bottom, it says toggle create guides. So if I hit option on a Mac or control on a PC, you'll notice that that little plus sign goes away. When it's there, it creates a guide. When it's not there, it just measures. It doesn't actually create any guides. But if I hit this in the middle of this operation, it'll all, all of a sudden a, a guide will appear and I'll have made a guide just like that. It's really as simple as that. Hit control to toggle on and off creating guides with the tape measure tool. These guides that I was making so far have all been parallel guides, meaning I draw them parallel to the edge from which I click, I suppose. What I'm going to do now is make a guide point. So let's say I wanted to create a point somewhere here that was exactly, I don't know, 10 feet from that corner. I'll just type in 10 feet and enter. And what I've done is I've created this little, you can barely see it, it's sort of a little cross that kind of lives there on the corner. It might be more visible from underneath. Yeah, it is right there. And so what I could do is I've created this little point that's kind of nowhere in space. Um, it might be more visible if I do it from a corner over here. Let's try that. I'll go and get the guidance tool. And I'm just going to pull a little point up from there. There we go. That little point is kind of floating in space, and it's going to help me bring things up or measure. I'm sure you'll find a use for it, but basically that's a guide point. Okay. Finally, you can also create guides with the protractor tool. Now, the protractor tool is for measuring angles. It looks a lot like the rotate tool, but it's not this tool. You have to go up to Tools, Protractor, 
and you'll end up with this thing that looks exactly like a protractor actually. When I click on the center of something and then I click again and then I click what it's letting me do is actually draw a guide based on an angle. So let's say I wanted to draw a guide that was, see the little angle showing up here, a guide that was 20 degrees this way. I'm just going to move this over and then type in 20 and enter and now this guide is exactly 20 degrees from this this line that I had imaginarily drawn. Let's do another one over here. Let's draw a guide that's 45 degrees from there. Okay, so basically you can make guides using the protractor tool which is under tools right here. You can also use uh, the tape measure tool to create guides which are right here and you toggle that plus sign on and off using the control key on a Windows machine or the option key on a Mac. That concludes the making and using guides video for Google SketchUp for Dummies.